and it's the spicy end of things i'm talking about social media buzz this is where we get to know all the brigade that's going on on social media and to join us to have that conversation is of course the beautiful black queen i'm talking about none other than the delectable amazing gorgeous deborah hi deborah good morning <laughs> <laughs> now, don't end. Now, man will not say if you go find something put for boots. You understand? Did I beat you? For every free thing, there is a catch somewhere. So, as she showers, you'll be you wary have... of those catch. Oh, Josh, you uh... haven't seen. You have no idea how this, how she queries me when I give something short. And now she's throwing me oh, under really? the bus on air. It's oh, really? fine, no problem. Anyways, hi Uche, good hi, morning. Baby. Good morning. How are you? We That's actually tuned in this morning. Yes, we and are. It's cool. Looking good. Hi Josh. I'm good. <laughs> you How are good. you? You look good. I'm good. What is buzzing? First okay. story. The whole caramel issue. Okay. We're supposed to talk about that, but I think it's let's just leave that on the side and talk about more trendy. I actually do issues. think we should talk about caramel. No, uh, I'm not, but, I'm but, not talking but about fights course. now. Yes, of it's course. A, it's a good Wednesday and I'm not about to start my Wednesday or oh, my social media buzz with fighting maybe over. Maybe if we have time after we're done concluding, we can then maybe then we can talk about it. Yes. about it. Oh, I agree. All right, the first story. Sophie Mamadou has finally opened up about a beef with David Doe and the reason the singer stopped taking care of his first child, Imadi. We call Sophie Mamadou shared a post on Instagram where she called out David over accusations of being a deadbeat dad. She also revealed to netizens that she had already planned to change her daughter's last name from Adeleke to Mamadou since she was playing the role of both father and mother. While people claimed that anger was because of money, others claimed she was jealous of Davido's marriage to Chioma. However, throwing more light to her fans, Sophia Momodu hinted that Davido was angry because she finally moved on with her life. Let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. Damsel said, Davido should please take care of his responsibilities, even though he's now married to Chioma. I know how he loves his daughter. The next reaction. Idon Shola said, and oh, I like that, said, so Davido didn't invest a dime in you to be able to do these things yourself. I mean, now because of Maybach, all these things, they happen. You can only, you can only be a baby mama for real. The next reaction. The mayor of Ibadan said, seems this madam is finding it difficult to accept the new boundaries, hence the rant. The final reaction. Favor said, the time he was taking care and doing everything, no dragging whatsoever. Bartons call for Bartons. Mm. <clears throat> it's hard to believe, that really, considering the kind of person David is, it's hard to believe. And I do not understand where all of this is coming from. I don't even know what to say. Because mm. we Sophia just wake up one day and start ranting on Snapchat that mm -hmm. he's a deadbeat father. Or is David actually really not doing his responsibility? Uh, Sophia is not the only baby mama David has. Right. Apart from, of course, that he finally eventually married Choma, mm -hmm. uh, who was who was also a baby mama before he married her. Yeah. Uh, and nobody else has this type of complaints except Sophia. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the initial, I think early this year, sometime in February or March, correct me if I'm wrong. March. She okay. came out to mm -hmm. make some certain statements in this direction and uh, we saw David's reply but that's just for another day and um, digging deeper into that conversation in fact I didn't have to dig much because mm -hmm. bloggers these days will do the job for of you of course and the, the word on the street is that Sophie wouldn't let David see Imadi he has tried he has consulted elders involved her father his father they are both parents mm -hmm. the extended family involved friends he has tried to have these conversations why will you not let me see my daughter you understand so uh the, the netizens online in-laws are now divided people on sophia's end and people really, on david's really end. And people, on, thing. people on david's end are like you you won't let him see the child he pays everything he pays child support he does everything that a father is supposed to do what exactly is your reason for not letting him see the child which is 
which is also a very a very very good question if you look at it from that perspective mm -hmm. sophia um accusing david of being deadbeat is not is unfounded because what is your how do you want to even prove that you're not the first you're not the only baby mama everybody else get their due okay. and this is not even me sitting here supporting the baby mama pandemic but that's just for another day but then there are other people in this community with you in this tiny community with you who are in the same line as you they are not complaining because this guy does his job and it's not like the money is not there Joshua, and somebody <laughs> asked a question okay. sorry josh somebody asked a question is it that okay let us assume david is not doing what he is supposed to is it on social media you want to come and drag Have it? A conversation if let us assuming that he's really a deadbeat daddy is it on social media you want to get him to pay you child support <laughs> and if he's really a deadbeat daddy you've you've had that conversation a couple of times before why are you hammering on it he's not doing what he's supposed to you claim to be a billionaire businesswoman take care of your child why are you disturbing us with your personal matter <laughs> josh what do you think <sighs> okay now let's look at it from two angles responsibility of taking care of a child rests on both shoulders the lady and the guy regardless of what might have happened mm. that resulted in her being a baby mama right because the woman did not just assume to give herself the pregnancy. Someone is responsible. So it requires both parties to be able to take care of that child. Mm -hmm. Now, these days we see things happening and um, we begin to wonder, well, it's not surprising because we have two courts. We have the court of law and the court of public customary opinion. Co okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was even mm -hmm. thinking customary court. No. <laughs> court of public opinion, of course, which yeah. is the social media. media. So we understand when some of these kind of folks you know resort to come on such platform mm. to rant mm. vent and express themselves however it comes to get emotions to carry emotions and every sort of thing that comes with it mm -hmm. now looking at this issue why is david o prevented from seeing the daughter has she sought an injunction from the court a legal mm -hmm. court barring him from coming if he has been bad what is the reason has he neglected his responsibility for the most part none of the baby mamas that we have heard that david do has not been doing his dues so why is she doing that is it because she's a bit jealous mm. over the fact that one of the baby mamas have now been conferred with that title of being right. a missus mm -hmm. yeah or is she trying to seek attention from david o? Mm -hmm. probably doing that to see how david o would you know pay her some visit and spend some time with her and the baby mm -hmm. you know we do not know what's going on mm -hmm. but i do not think that social media is the right place is the right place to go mm -hmm. you have his number you can reach out to him you can chat with him if you chat with him does he not respond to your chat mm -hmm. or is he trying to see ways to get through to him by coming on social media mm -hmm. perhaps that's the only way to get his attention and david does saving his own image so he would not have to come back to her and let's talk I do not know. So well, there's more that meets the eyes. I, do, I do not even agree with the whole. He's angry because I've moved on. Since you've not moved on, this because is, if you've moved, moved on, on we'll I mean, you know how ladies move on. The moment a lady moves on from you, Josh, I'm telling you this from the That's perspective the of a woman. You cease you to exist. exist. But that bitterness still lies somewhere. It's not somewhere. like bitterness. You just that is why it's regardless of moving, moving on. on. See, <laughs> it's just it, 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 every her body language tells of a woman who is bitter. Scorned. I think the word is scorned. Do you understand? Whatever English you yes. use and qualify it, it is, but it is very far away from I moved on and you're angry. Hello, mm. David is not the person on social media ranting. You are of the course. person. No, let's move on to the next story. The next please. story, please. Nollywood actress and entrepreneur Ia Bojo has disclosed that she's been attacked with tax bills because she supported Peter Wing. We call that in the early hours of yesterday, Ia Bojo took to her page to call out Governor Babajide Somolu and the entire Lagos state government for sending her an outrageous tax bill. She lamented about how she's been paying different tax bills for business and house, and how she was given an outrageous tax bill and a seven-day ultimatum for payment. In an Instagram Live video, Yaba Ojo disclosed that a close source has disclosed to her that she's been attacked because she threw her weight behind the candidate for Labour Party. In a new post cited on her page, she emphasized that she cannot be shaking a bullet because she would never bow to any tribal bigot.